in this chapter we'll discuss about branchless banking so branchless banking helps in increases the reach of the distribution of financial services to the poor people in the villages so rbi has this policy of financial inclusion which we'll discuss later it encourages branchless banking to the uh, business correspondents a number of banks almost all the banks uh, especially in the public sector has uh, have uh, adopted this model uh, for example union bank of india uh, does branchless banking by appointing uh, a bank correspondence to reach a uh, unrich population and uh, uh, they have appointed uh, at present around six technology service providers who provide this uh, end to end solutions okay, to carry out banking operations through the branchless banking model bank will be providing this big bank correspondence uh, a micro atm or laptop web camera and fingerprint capturing the machine to enroll the beneficiary so the necessary support infrastructure will be provided by the bank to the the banking correspondence and the data recorded in the computer includes various demographic details such as name address father or husband's name occupation etc and on the, on the basis of this data captured through these machines the bank will open a bsbda that is the basic savings bank deposit account we'll discuss about this later we briefly discussed this earlier when we said about small small accounts okay so these bsbda accounts will be opened and all the data will be captured and store in the core banking solution usually the account holder will also be issued rupee cards we we'll discuss rupee cards later is just like a normal uh, a debit card of visa or mastercard this is an indian version rupee cards so usually uh, people will be uh, who, who who open this bsbd accounts are issued rupee cards also where they can withdraw money from the atms and depending on the nature of the transaction the age either receives cash or pays cash okay and after completion of the transaction that uh, uh, machine that micro atm generates a receipt to the uh, uh, account holder and all the transaction systems as i said will be happening in real time so in the cbi system it will be reflected instantaneously sometimes in bank interviews will be asked why banks are encouraging branchless banking i mean banks have this physical presence okay in rural areas where banks are not present it's an advantage branchless banking okay but even in cities why are banks encouraging branchless banking branchless banking means where banking services are done without coming to physical branches like uh, doing net doing your bank transactions at atms or on on online banking mobile banking so even in urban areas banks are encouraging people to do uh, branchless banking even though physical branches are present so why are banks doing this so what's the problem if i mean if physically the branches are present even in places where branches are present why are uh, they encouraging branches banking of course one is convenience to the customer but there are other reasons as from a bank point of view to physically set up branches they need a lot of facilities they have to pay rent okay they have to take take the branches the the branch on lease they have to pay rent they have to pay electricity they have to deploy they have to employ staff for that branch which which means they have to have more staff a salary and also banks try to avoid getting customers into the branch the less customers they they have the less cost they will incur so they can avoid all this electricity charges premises charges security charges salaries and all okay so if if all just imagine if all the customers who are going to atms online banking mobile banking really come to bank banks cannot handle that much uh, customers with the present employee strength they need more employees so it all adds to the cost of the bank so that's why banks are encouraging branchless banking so you might have observed this uh, when doing atm transactions or some other transactions banks in a way discourage you from coming to branches by levying some charges for example if you pay credit card bill by coming to branch rather than online banking some banks charge you say 100 rupees or extra even though you you have come to the branch to pay your credit card bill they will charge you say 100 rupees because you come to the branch if you pay it through online banking they won't charge you so they're discouraging you from coming to the branch okay sometimes they uh, refund some amount back if you do transaction through debit card or credit card you have seen this in, usually in petrol banks you know right some branches uh, keep 500 notes mostly in atms and branches and they and in branches they keep only a uh, large denomination 2000 notes so if a customer asks please give me 500 notes they say it's not available you can please go to the atm so there are certain ways in which banks sort of discourage customers from coming to the uh, branch okay so the questions in this chapter to be prepared are what is branches banking give an example why are banks encouraging branches banking okay 
besides convenience it's also the the cost aspect 